Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and this is a very special video for me. This is a milestone because sitting next to me is my biggest and tallest 3D printed sculpture to date. And it is of Cyborg Superman from Berserk Studios. Berserk Studios, the same team behind Wicked and their awesome Marvel statues and dioramas. If you're more into the DC side of things, you can go check out Berserk Studios Patreon page where they have a lot of DC things, including this guy, which was a part of their May 2023 pledge. And my goodness, I'm going to give you some close, some close ups of this guy, but let me tell you a little bit more about the process of printing him and everything that I use and everything that I did. Now, the Cyborg Superman is mostly made out of resin as far as his body is concerned, but there are some FDM elements in there. Um, and I thought that was kind of fitting because we got the Cyborg Superman, we got the organic side, and then the Cyborg side. So for printing him, we got the filament side and the resin side. I thought that was uh, kind of fitting. It all worked out in the end, but I still managed to print him at 90% scale, which is why he looks so big. Even on my smaller printer, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K, because the parts that he came with were small enough to fit on that plate, even at 90% scale. But that also meant in order to fit on the base that the base also needed to be at 90% scale as well. And I did not print the base out of resin. I printed it out of filament on the Creality Ender 3 Pro at 90%. And this also came with some different pieces. So everything is not all the way glued in yet, but I can tell you that at the very bottom of this base, it was very nice and smooth, this triangular shape, kind of like Superman's chest symbol. And then I also had to print this rocky sculpture, which took the longest time to print at 90% scale. It took about 36 hours to print that. And then when that was done, I had to print out this rocky piece right here that Superman's uh, leg is currently attached to and that didn't take as long but it was still another part that I had to print followed by these two tower pieces here and then the Superman symbol which was the fastest thing to print right there in the middle and yes supports were needed for all of these pieces but fortunately the uh, auto support feature in Cura took care of that and I didn't have any problems. So the reason why this Superman is both made of filament and resin is because of print failures. And I went through a few print failures trying to get this guy together. And I actually talk a little bit more about print failures in another video. So if you're curious about that, hit the card up above my head or check the link in the description. I'll we'll talk about print failures a little bit more and things that you can do to sort of get your confidence back going when you experience those. So I was pretty down when it was happening. This waste part here, as I showed in that previous video, it didn't print properly because he did not have a right butt cheek and some other things that were going on just made it non-symmetrical. But thanks to having a filament printer, I was able to print out his, his uh, waste part here in filament and it came together pretty good. Now we still got some seams here that can be taken care of. I have some, I have some putty that I can just squeeze in there and then it'll harden. Then you can just sand it to get rid of those seams. So that's not a problem. The other part that's made out of filament is his right thigh. So this is filament here. And then this thigh over here is made out of resin, but the detail, the detail, oh my goodness, the detail just, this guy just looks absolutely amazing. I mean, you can see it for yourself. The only thing that I don't have for him is the cape. They do have a cape that could be printed out, but unfortunately I got a hole in my FEP, so I can't print anything in resin until that gets replaced, until that replacement FEP comes in from any cubic. But even without the cape, which comes in uh, a few different pieces, He's just still looks absolutely incredible. And then when something this big, it's big to me, can just sit back on that shelf, it's an immediate attention grabber. It's an immediate conversation piece. And I think that it just shows that although it's nice to have a big resin 3D printer in order to make these giant, nice sculptures and figures, it's not always necessary. If you can only get a smaller printer, you can make larger 
figures, you just have to get them in parts. Now, how big is this? Well, I don't have a tape measure on me, so let's just use this uh, Marvel Legends Nick Fury figure. So if this guy is six inches tall, standing next to this big sculpture here, then yeah, you get an idea of how much space this guy's gonna take up. And I'm very happy and very proud to have been able to print something this massive on my 3D printers and put it up on my display. It is the largest sculpture that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this awesome Cyborg Superman, and I encourage you to print a big figure for yourself. It's possible even on small printers, so you can definitely get it done and you will feel how amazing it is to have something this large on your shelf that you can look at and say, darn it, I printed that. And it really makes you wanna go out and get a bigger printer so you can make even bigger things, but we'll save that for another time. So thank you all so much for checking out this video and let me know down in the comments what was the biggest figure or sculpture that you have printed so far on your 3D printers. And if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I'll always have more coming. So until then, Take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you next time.